Hi. So as many of you guys know, I've been on quite the journey in terms of health. I've been all over the map and I'm grateful for it because I've been through a lot of phases that I think a lot of people can relate to. And my current phase is really freaking awesome. And I wanted to share with you guys some wisdom that I've learned through the many stages. And this is something that's been coming up for me in terms of gut health, in terms of what drives people to go to the gym, in terms of even how we're looking at like natural medicine and holistic medicine. And what I have noticed is that we are driven by fear a lot, even in our health endeavors, even in holistic health, naturopath, all these things. Like, so hear me out. A lot of people, when I get into it with them, you know, my first question on a call with a client will be like, all right, so just give me, give it to me. Like, you know, for real, like what pushed the needle? What got you to hire me? Like, why are you freaking here? Just tell me from your heart. And it's almost always fear driven. It's, I hate the way I look and I just don't want to look like this anymore. Or my parents died early and I don't want to die early. Or my family has a history of this and that, and I don't want to be like that. And it's this fear driven mindset that results in like manic pressured, really intense, almost psychotic, like behavior. Hey, what's up? Four weeks to the beach. Yes, we can do a live DM me and we'll, um, get that coordinated. Um, so even holistic health, hear me out on this. Listen to this. This has been really, I have been like beautiful mind, psychotically obsessed. It's like sometimes my intuition just comes in and it's like, this is freaking important, like freaking go. And I just lose all, <laughs> I don't know, integration with reality. I'm just like, I, I sucked into something. I, some of you I'm sure can relate. Um, I, it was a client of mine that's been dealing with gut issues and man, dude, it was just like, what, what is everyone missing? Cause she has been to some of the like very common names, like top naturopaths, functional medicine doctors, people you guys probably follow and know. And this stuff has been going on for 15 years, her gut issues, hypothyroidism, adrenal stuff, like skin rashes, all these things. And I'm like, dude, man, what are we freaking missing? So I went like psycho. I like spent like 20 hours and what it really came down to is I do think it was stress induced in the beginning. Okay. But what I noticed in all of the lab testing is what were, what was being looked for the bad looking for parasites, looking for viruses, looking for bacteria, looking for blood numbers that are off. Even me looking for minerals that are missing vitamin deficiencies, all these things, which is good to check on those things too. But what I noticed was in her gut testing, we, nobody checked to see if she had the good guys. And really what it's well down to and all my research is I think she's missing. I actually, I know I did find a very, very old test from several years ago that she's missing some of those good guys. And what happened as a result, low white blood cells, low neutrophils, which if anybody knows what I'm talking about, like that's chronic long-term viral infection, there was a lot going on. There were metals, there were all sorts of things. But in the, at the end of the day, I was like, dude, nobody checked to see if she had the good guys in place in her gut so that she could balance that, right? And so just this combined with all the nervous system dysregulation that I see, I think one of the biggest problems in human health right now is pressure. Everybody, it just, to me, it feels like everybody feels like they're just not doing good enough job in like every facet of their life. It's just this tremendous amount of pressure. Gotta be a better parent. Gotta look better. Gotta eat healthier. Gotta like be better at work. Gotta make more money. Gotta be better, 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 better. Pressure, 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 pressure. And it's resulted in this huge dysregulation of the nervous system, not to mention unresolved trauma, which to me, I mean, yeah, we're diving into that stuff deeply in the work that I do. And I have a little team of people that I send people to when necessary to dive deeper into that stuff. But it's like, dude, if you got abused, abandoned, we're in some psycho relationship, which is probably a re result of what happened in childhood. Um, you know, I've talked about it before. Men are you no, know, definitely it's a big thing. Men don't want to admit that they were sexually abused or abused growing up gotta freaking talk about it. Women, if you've never freaking talked about it, that shit's got to come out in a safe place with a trained professional who can help you so that you can release that from your nervous system. Cause I'm telling you, if you are not dealing, if you are stressed out as a, a mofo, if you are stressed as a mofo, I guarantee you that there is some story of I'm not good enough from somewhere along the line where now you're stressed like crazy trying to prove that you're enough. 
And it can be hard for us to like admit that in ourselves. It's like, no, no, I'm not like, I just, I just love, I just love doing this stuff, but I'm telling you, I mean, I fully, I'm so open. I said it on many podcasts. If you've heard me on other people's podcasts, what got me into the deep levels of fitness was trauma was not enoughness. And so I really achieved, dude, I went freaking ham because that fear, if with the, if the fear of being not good enough is intense enough, it will drive you like crazy. Right. And I'm so grateful that I've had so many healing things come into my path because now guess what? I think some of the fear that holds us into this proving energy is we think that if we let go of this pressure, constant pressure to be better, do better, blah, 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 we're afraid that we'll just turn into these like lazy blobs that never do anything. And that's not what freaking happens when you're healed and your nervous system's regulated and you don't have to prove your worth and you, you get to create, you get to be you, you get to bring your soul to the planet. You get to have more pause. And that pause is that yen feminine energy, which I'm not being woo woo. It's just like, even if you don't like those words, when you pause or sharpen the saw, some people like you get to think and process and, and, and birth the creation that you're going to go take your masculine energy and create with. But if we're always in the masculine energy of proof, 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 build, 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 show my worth, show how awesome I am. Show me, show everybody else. Look, we get off track and we work ourselves into the freaking ground. So I think, I mean, definitely what I've noticed as a coach is a lot of people have a hard time being still taking a break, right? It's like, I can't take a break, dude. I got to freaking pay my bills and I got to, you know, no excuses mentality. I got to freaking grind myself. And if you will just have enough like faith, I guess is probably the best word to just pause and chill and reflect and do something that makes you happy, you will get the ideas and the alignment that you need. So when you go back into that masculine creating energy, it's not like some ragged chicken with their head cut off. And this is the last thing I want to say real quick. Here's the other part of like this harm avoidance mentality um, of like, you know, it's so rampant. It's like, don't eat this. Don't eat that. Don't, you know, don't be like this. Don't do that. Blah, blah, blah. It's, it's there's so much daunting. And we forget that in order to really be in our full essence and happy and alive, we have to add in the good. Just like my client needed to add in the good in her gut. What are you doing that adds in the good? Yeah. Hustle culture. Exactly. And I was in that dude. I was in that sleep, sleep when I'm dead. I'm freaking hustling. Other people burn out. Not me. When I look at pictures of me from that time, I'll share one. I, you know what? I'll share one. Cause I was sharing it with my friends. I'm like, look at my face, dude. <laughs> I'm like, that is the face of adrenal fatigue. I'm just like, Bleh. look at I got like hit by a freaking train. I just look exhausted. <laughs> You don't create from your place of power in that energy. That's survival mode. And I admit, I was in that, you know? Um, but as I started to heal and started to get healthier mindsets and all these things, I started prioritizing what made me happy. I was like, what do I like? I freaking love being in nature. I love connecting with my friends. I love dancing. I love music. Like a lot of, if you're out of touch with this, think about what you liked as a little kid. I was like my first when clients, some of my clients, like truly, when I ask them what they like or what their preferences are or what they want, they don't, they have no freaking clue. They have spent so much of their life trying to be what they're supposed to be and do what they're supposed to do. They literally have no clue. They don't know what kind of music they like. They don't even really know what kind of food they like. They don't really know. It's like, oh, I don't know. I'm cool with everything. I'm like, mm. so if you aren't used to exercising this part of your psyche of your soul, it's going to take practice. Like you're going to have to be like, hold on. What do I like? <laughs> what does bring me joy? What does make me happy? Right. And as you put those things into your life proactively, it forces you to get rid of all the bullshit that's holding you back. If you're working yourself into the ground at work and taking all this shit that you don't need to take on and is not yours, or maybe you're a business owner and you're doing shit that is not good for your business for you to be doing, like somebody else needs to be doing that, but you're in this like, no hustle, I can do everything mode. When you proactively add in all the things that bring you joy, it forces you to find solutions. Cause it's just like, eventually, if any of you have been in hustle mode, sleep when I'm dead mode, you get to a point where hopefully where you heal from this enough that you're like, I'm never going back to that place. 
I'm never going back to that place. And it helps you find solutions. With my app, that was the most recent like big push when I released my app. It was like, freak man, this is a lot of freaking work. And I could feel myself at one point. I was like, shit, dude, we have so many more videos and I am freaking tired. And I just found a solution. I was like, no, dude, people can wait for that. We have enough, right? Like we have enough. They can wait. I'll just let them know it's coming. I'm not going to push myself into that fight or flight, sympathetic, dominant state just to be enough for everybody else, you know? And so I have found for me, like, I didn't even know I was in that. You know what I mean? So like some, um, some, I guess like things to look for is like, if you have a hard time just sitting still and chilling without this like chronic, like to-do list, I promise you something happened in your path in which you feel that you are not valuable if you're not adding and contributing. And guess what? That's bullshit. It's great to serve and contribute and all of those things. But if you feel uncomfortable in yourself and you feel less valuable, if you're not doing those things, something's going on there. Something, some story needs to be healed. I've lived through it, dude. And you know what? Like I had, I had a friend come up to me at the gym the other day. He's like, how are you staying so lean? I was like, dude, I don't even know. I think it's honestly because I've taken so much pressure off and I'm just doing what's loving towards my body. If I feel like pushing myself, I freaking push myself. If I feel like not pushing myself, I respect that. If I feel like I need more sleep, I respect that. If I'm hungry, I freaking eat. If I'm not hungry, I don't eat. I don't get in these fear stories of like, oh, you better hurry and eat because it's getting closer to bed. It's just like, dude, I'm just not hungry. And if I am hungry, I'm like, dude, I'm freaking hungry, you know, but I don't eat before bed, like a few hours before bed because I want my body to recover well during sleep. It's so good for my mental health, all of my recovery, longevity. That's why not to be skinny, not for any sort of pressure. I don't care. It's everything with my body is in the energy of self love now, right? It's like, what do you need? I got you. And that state, dude, that will relax your nervous system enough that your body, all your systems can flow and sink. I just went to my massage therapist and my chiropractor today. Holy shit. I swear to, I swear to God, she like released so much tension from like my neck and traps. Like I went so deep in my parasympathetic. I was having so much emotional release, so many epiphanies. I was like, wow, dude, that's like basic self-care. <laughs> Let somebody help you, you know, invest in that. Holy cow. I just, there's no words. I'm so grateful. I just kept saying thank you out loud. Like <laughs> on my drive home, I drive like 30, 40 minutes to get out there. I was just like, there's not enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Um, let's see. Yeah. Intuitive mind, body connecting. Yeah. Because, okay, here's another example. When I, when I got sick recently, I was just like, dude, body, you guys know what's up way more than I do. What do you need? What do you need? And I would hear things, right? Like, it's just like, just, I need you to drink tons of water and all the snot, just get the snot out. Like we're telling you it's coming for a reason, like get it out. Lots of water, lots of sleep, greens, energy bits. Like it was just, you know, I was just like kind of taking the, the, my hands off the wheel and was just like, what do you need? And I think because I have that relationship with my body where I'm constantly checking in and being real with it, it's like a respectful, loving relationship. Everything has come in flow. My gut health is amazing. Like everything's amazing. I don't, I, it's just, I, I'm not saying that, like, I don't, I don't mean to say that in a braggy way. I'm just trying to share, like, as I've been more kind with my body and like really tapped in and tuned into it, everything has just become so much flow, you know? And like when something comes up, I'm like, oh, okay, dude, that's why I keep going in right now for my massage therapist. Cause there's something going on with like my mid traps. I'm like, what is that? I'm like, so I didn't work my back this week. I got in, you know, and that kind of stuff. That's how everything gets in flow. Not like I'm going to freaking grind you into the ground, even though you're telling me something's up, you know? Um, what if I, all I do is sit and chill and can't bring myself to hustle anymore. There can be a lot of reasons for that. One could be, um, fear of like from burnout, from doing that too hard. Um, also it could just be that your body is trying to recover from something and it's literally telling you like, I need you to chill and relax and sleep and like be okay with being in this mode for a little bit. And just honestly, without like knowing any sort of background or what, you know, like any blood work, any gut stuff, or, like any of your history, 
ask your body what it needs. Like tap into that. If you have healthy cravings, honor that. You know, if you're craving freaking arugula or something, like, like just keep asking, keep tapping in. And a lot of it, if you're in that mode, is probably a lot of sleep and a lot of rest and a lot of chill, especially women, dude. Our our bodies are more complex. And so things can go wrong more quickly. You have some deficiencies or anything, you know, minerals, uh, gut stuff or whatever in a female system. Holy shit, dude. You've got to honor it and give it what it needs. Um, when we grind too much, we learn to ignore ourselves. Exactly. I made a video on TikTok on Sunday about how I don't like the no excuses mindset. And because I don't like no excuses because it's like, <laughs> no excuses. It's like, hold on a second. Like what's actually going on with me? Right. When we get into this, like I call it a sympathetic response. It's a fight or flight response. It's like something's going on with me and I'm not going to acknowledge what that is at all. And I'm just gonna be like, no excuses, bitch, get your ass in there. You know? And I honestly, like people didn't want to hear that. They weren't ready to receive that. It's like, no, they're excuses. People are just making excuses. They're just weak, you know? And I'm like, "Mm." because like, here's the other side of that. Okay, if I find myself avoiding something, I'm like, why? Why am I avoiding that? (laughs) When you can have that real conversation with yourself, you can actually get solutions instead of just suppressing and denying what's actually happening inside of you. I think people are, they're afraid. There's so much fear. There's so much fear that I'm going to like be this underperformer loser if I acknowledge anything in myself that isn't like fight or flight mode. (laughs) Yeah, that's not what freaking happens. I was so deep in my parasympathetic after that massage, like for half a day, I just like laid on my bed and took it really easy. And I didn't respond to certain emails. I just didn't have the freaking bandwidth. If I was, if it was a really hard, I had like a contract I had to sign and I was just like, I can't take that on right now. I will get back to them tomorrow, you know, and the easier emails I dealt with. Right. And like, I honor that. I honor that flow because guess what? Like you'll show up in more excellence when you're recovered and you're ready, you know, but if we never give ourselves that, like you're going to perform everything half-assed. So that's what I think the no excuses mindset gets. It's I think no excuses leads to underperformance because everything is like a fraction of your full capacity because you never let yourself recover. You never tap into your emotions. Um, I had mold at my house recently. I had to live out of a hotel, cancel my training day. And trainer said, no excuses. <laughs> Three kids living, living. Trainer was like, I'm getting paid, yo. <laughs> Three kids living out of our car. I was burnt out. I realized it's okay. Good for you. I hope you went for a walk. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, I guess, you know, my message, I guess at the end of this is just, are you okay with like recovering? Are you okay with sleeping? Are you okay with like being okay with like what your body is asking you to do? Are you okay with eating to satiety if you're hungry? Are you okay with not eating dinner if you're just not hungry, not getting wrapped up in some weird, crazy fear story? Like, it's just like going with the flow. Can we go with the flow in a way that I always measure if I can go with the flow is like, I'm good either way, you know? Um, Let's see. How can I work with you individually? I had a call with someone from your website and they spoke to more of a group environment. You're incredible. Thank you. I appreciate your realness. Thank you. Yeah. So my one-on-one clients are in higher. So I have like, it's a hybrid. So they are my one-on-one clients in higher, but I also put them in a group and two zoom calls a week. And it's been freaking awesome. If I have any of my higher people in here, I'm sure they can vouch for that. It's freaking cool, dude. We've had a lot of calls where we're just all in tears. It's amazing to like, um, know that you're not alone, that you're not, I say that you're not special in your problems. <laughs> that Like most of the things you're going through, like a bunch of other people are going through. When you find that out, it kind of like makes them less dramatic and you're like, Oh, okay. So this is just normal shit. Oh, <laughs> and we find solutions together, you know? So we do mindset calls on Monday and then we do, um, I call them wants and wins. It used to be accountability calls on Friday, but I don't like the energy of accountability. And thank you, Emily. Yeah, Emily is one of my clients. She's such a freaking beautiful soul. I just had a call today. So, um, yeah, it's, yeah, so much support. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. And I learn, I have so much respect and love for all of my clients. And I learn from them constantly, like amazing freaking people. So, yeah, that's how my coaching works. But, um, okay, so to cap this out, just, just encouraging you to, like, 
two things. Make sure that you're listening to your body, listening to what you need, listening to your soul. What is your soul telling you need? Are you depriving it of that? It's like, dude, I need to like be by myself. Okay. Have some conversations with people in your life. Like I need some more me time. Like I'm like <laughs> burning out here. I need some alone time. I love you. It's not like about that. Like I just need this for me, you know, something like that. Like or, you know, what do you, can you even recognize if your body's like, Hey dude, I could use some more nutrients. You know, are you proactive about maybe drinking some greens powder, by the way? I'm sorry. I don't have any sort of discount for you guys, but I am loving nano greens from biopharma. That shit is freaking amazing. Nano greens and, uh, energy bits. Holy cow. Those have become a staple for me. I do have energy bits keep on my website, but I, I, I pr probably get one from biopharma, but I just haven't. Um, but, um, yeah. And then the other thing is like, um, adding in, adding in the good. We had a cool talk about that, huh, Emily? It's like, what is your soul? What was, what would your, this is a question that I, I took myself through and journaling lately and shared with one of my clients today. And it was, if you couldn't ever help anybody, you could never provide a service to anyone ever again, ever, ever, ever. You're not allowed. You're not allowed to help. You're not allowed to serve. You're not allowed to do anything like that. You can't work. You can provide any sort of service to anyone ever. Who are you? How would you describe yourself? Right? Because we get our value wrapped up into that real quick. And I, I, I definitely, I mean, it's something I'm currently working through. I've worked through a lot of layers, but I'm finding these deeper layers, right? And I was like, honestly, I saw myself like walking by the ocean and just playing. And I was like a deep thinking, intuitive soul, smart, um, curious, free, happy, playful, right? So who are you without providing any sort of service to others, right? And when you can identify that, then it's like, okay, dude, so what playful? I'm very playful. I, you guys know, I feel like a dog half the time. <laughs> I resonate heavily with dogs. <laughs> and I'm like, I love to just freaking go outside and play and do nothing. I just want to get up in those mountains and just like freaking walk around. <laughs> Yeah, that's important to me, you know, and athletics always. I was always in my backyard playing basketball or like organizing little kickball groups. That's important to me. That's play. The gym is like play for me. That is soul time for me. It is not pressure. I, I truly could not give two shits about aesthetics. It's just how do I feel? What do I want to do? How do I want to express myself? How do I want to play? You get in that mindset. I guarantee you be freaking consistent in the gym because you love it. Um, I used to do the greens. I feel like they're a bit of a crutch for not getting in whole foods. Yeah. I mean, to each their own that I'm sure they could be for some people. I definitely eat my real food, but I just, every, when I have them, I'm just like, here you go, buddy. You're going to love all this stuff. Cause like, I'm not eating like chlorella and <laughs> spirulina except for energy bits and some of those other things. You know what I mean? Uh, such a fresh perspective. I love this homework. Yeah. I can't wait to hear your report, Emily. Um, powerful. I got caught up confusing my value with my contribution. Oh, Oh, that's so good. Write that down. Post that. <laughs> I got caught up confusing my value with my contribution. Damn. Yup. Yup. And if, if, if our only value is what we're contributing, shit, dude, it's freaking terrifying to not be contributing all the time because we literally feel like we're not valuable. And that's freaking exhausting and scary. And it will drive you into adrenal fatigue and gut issues and hypothyroidism and all that shit. High blood pressure, heart problems, respiratory problems, all of it. Like, bring in the happy. Bring in the happy. Right? What is that for you? We're missing that. I feel like so much in health and mindset. We're so focused on harm avoidance and don't do this and don't do that and serious shit. And I got to blah, 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 blah. But like happy. What are you doing to bring happiness, true happiness right? Like stuff that makes your soul expand. Do you like being outside? Have you been outside for a while in a place that you like being outside in a way that you like being outside, right? Or like being active in a way that's fun, shooting some hoops around or whatever, right? Happiness. Are you eating healthy things that you freaking love? You know, like, what is that? Are you doing what you're supposed to all the time? Because that shit will drive us into the freaking ground on a soul and physiological level. Okay, I gotta go because I told my boys I would bring them home some spaghetti sauce. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Thank you for joining me. Much love.